um, been having this thing lately where I'm not used to the time or to it getting dark earlier. And I'm also trying to get caught up on Walking Dead, so I don't usually watch shows so early in the evening, but I've been falling asleep super early. Notice they're finally digging some more holes in the ground over here. Maybe I'll be able to eventually finish my video on this, this block. So I've definitely had a, a longer beard than this before, but today's the first time that I was eating a sandwich and twice ate my beard as part of it. I asked my mom to help me by opening the door, holding open the door. Immediately a drawer falls out as soon as we get through the door and it breaks. Then another one falls out and it breaks. I take it to the curb, set it down, and all of the drawer supports and everything fall out so we have to take it to the dumpster. Unbelievable. Some people are just so dumb. <clears throat> you know what's not Facebook stalking? When a friend of yours sees your posts and asks another friend about it. That's not... Facebook stalking. Facebook stalking is if you block somebody who's been harassing you and they make a new profile to continue keeping up with your shit. If you don't want your friends seeing your posts, then A, don't post them, or B, change your privacy settings, or C, unfriend people that you don't want to see stuff you're going to talk shit about. That seems pretty clear to me, but some people are so dumb, they think it's Facebook stalking if, for example, a friend posts something and then I ask another friend about the post. That's not stalking. Sorry, you're an idiot. I'm trying to figure out how to make up for the fact that... And why didn't it bother me in previous years? It feels like I have far less time to record stuff now because of how quickly it gets dark. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to make tonight interesting whilst still getting things done, making dinner, doing a podcast, raising a family, etc. The frustration of the fact that people don't treat words with the same reverence that they used to. I'm very deliberate with my word. I heard it on a Harmontown podcast one time. It was talking about people being remorseful and how you actually apologize and how you avoid hurting people with lies and shit like that in the future. So one of the things was be deliberate with your word. I'm very deliberate with my words. When I speak something, when I ask a question, I want an answer, and I'm crafting my question in such a way so as to get the answer I'm looking for. Not necessarily the answer I want, but it phrased the If I want a yes or no answer, I'm going to ask a yes or no question is what I mean. I'm not saying I'm trying to steer their answer to be, to please me. So it annoys the piss out of me when I see people use words incorrectly. I don't even know what to say. I genuinely don't know what to say anymore. Okay, I probably do know what to say, but there's no point in alienating people that I've known at some point in my life and just turned into total douchebags. Just to add a little spice to today, I'm gonna drive around the other side of these apartments because I have not done any updates on this in a long time because quite frankly, they haven't done any updates on it. It's been sitting like this for a year now. And today they started digging. So, it's kind of interesting. I'm gonna have to, why not, right? Let's, ow, let's go check it out. It's not even a big hole here. It's just, they finally started digging. Here we are, that's what it looks like. Soon to be more of these. Sammy! Jimmy! What you did? Backing up everything right now. Ah, Sam's back. In up. Good, we're in that time of day where the high school plays copywritten music, so if I vlog, I have to talk constantly. What's up, children? Hey, if you guys ever want to clear the children out, just have me walk up. Yeah. I would just like to point out how insulting it is that when you finally run up to me, you instantly start crying because you think I want to keep you from grandma. I'm not trying to keep you from grandma. I just wanted to give a hug to my little girl. Give me a hug. Use your arms like people do. Okay, go play. So sorry for wanting to see you for five seconds. Thank you so much, monster. Do not puke on me. Are you gonna puke? <laughs> puke, 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 puke. Blah. Oh, story make my own characters. That would be great. Finally, 
That's why I like that. It's 9 p.m. and we're watching softball on ESPN and I'm already dozing. Like, I was actually kind of enjoying it, too, but there's just something about sitting down and not doing anything and watching TV that is like, oh, you can go to sleep. You guys aren't too talkative over there, are you? I'm enjoying watching it. Yeah. So I like the sound effects of the rain, but little sprinkles hopping near my computer. <laughs> what, Dad? Why don't you uh, come out from under the blanket there? <laughs> what are you doing? I laid down to have the wire. I told you it's time for bed. <laughs> I'm going to sleep later, Dad. No, you're not. You're going to go to sleep now. I was coming to ask you what you're most looking forward to tomorrow. What? What are you most looking forward to about tomorrow? About me? Yeah, just about your life, about what you got tomorrow. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, we're doing library. Yeah? <sighs> yeah. You like the library, don't you? Yeah, it does. It's, the book fair is going to end in, in three days. The book fair's over? No, it, it's going to be over in three days. Oh. How about um five more minutes of Zelda and then bed? That's it, not a second more. Okay. Okay. Good night, Sawyer. Good night, Dad. All these memories in my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind. I'm still a secret lemonade drinker. Drink